I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, and that it's every man for himself. It's worth noting that a lot of people give ECW credit for popularizing the triple threat match back in the mid to late 1990s. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Great offense by Enzo Amore. Let's talk about Enzo Amore for a moment. He's got his hands full in this triple threat match. How does he climb that mountain? I'll be very curious to see what type of game plan he has in store as this triple threat match continues to unfold. Well, I know he'd like the other two superstars to tire each other out, but they might have other thoughts in mind. He's not looking like himself here. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. Oh, this is nothing, Cole. You don't compete in a TLC match without collecting a few bruises. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. His feet are taken out from under him. Enzo Mori is a fighter, and as he likes to say, a smack talker Skywalker. The only thing Enzo hits harder than the microphone is an opponent. And he goes down hard. Yeah, and I think he might have slipped a little, too. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. He is a one-man gang in there. He's in a little bit of trouble now. His chances of winning this triple threat match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. Byron, you made a really good point earlier about Enzo Amore. The certified G is the type of superstar who's the first to run into a fight and the last to leave. While I find Enzo Amore indescribably annoying, I'll give him this. If there's a superstar who won't back down from a fight, if there's a guy who will just keep coming at you, it's Enzo. Ty Dillinger starting to look a little dazed. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Look out! He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. Ooh. Oh, he turns it around. Look out, a super kick right to the chin. Devastating. And he's heading back in. He's not going to like this. See if he takes the bait. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. You can almost see the wind leave his body after that. He took an incredible pounding there. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. Not where he wants to be right. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big-time damage, Michael. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. He's looking a little weary here. He's starting to feel the pressure of this triple threat match, guys. He's clearly drained, guys. But hey, that's what happens when you agree to compete in a match like this. I can assure you there is nothing tender, loving, or caring about a TLC match. You have to worry about his orbital bone after that. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. And now it's 
Enzo Amore being pushed to the limit. We're all going to find out what he's made of here in this triple threat match. Just seeing what he's gone through so far in this TLC match makes me glad I'm sitting here with you guys and not in the ring right now. Well, maybe not you, Saxton, but you get the point. This is one of the more evenly matched contests we've seen in quite some time. From the looks of things, it could really go either way. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. I think Amore needs a few more wins on his record before he can start showboating like this. He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Folks, this could be the beginning of the end for her here in this triple threat match. He's in awful shape here, guys. But hey, that's what happens when you step in the ring with two of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE. At this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. He's in trouble. Bang! Detonation kick. Dillinger looks about as far from a 10 as you can look right now. Unless we start seeing some movement on the outside, I'm starting to think this one's over. Incredible! Connects with a counter. No reverses it. We got action. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. You have to applaud the effort these superstars are giving here in this TLC match, guys. It's all over. What an amazing triple threat contest. 